Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So last week we took you for a tour of the Calgary Renovation Show. We revealed our top five ideas for renovating your home in 2023. And then I was thinking, why not take everyone for a tour of our home? We've done a lot to it in the three years that we've lived here. And you'll wanna stay tuned to the end of the video as Natalie and I both reveal our favorite renovations we've done to our home. This home was built in 1981. It's in a leafy suburban older area of Calgary and we had been looking for a home for a while. We wanted something with a little more space, a little more separation, all that good stuff. So when we walked in this house, we went bing. This is our 85 percenter. It's the cream puff. So we immediately jumped on it and thank goodness we did. We moved in probably eight weeks before COVID yep. and we actually had room for students and adults all working from home. Regardless, when we did move in, there were several things that we needed to tweak to make it our own. And the best place to start was in the kitchen. Okay, so the kitchen is the heart of the home, as we all know. It's where you gather with friends and family to cook, to eat, to talk, to share. It's just a really important space. So when we moved into this house, they had done a renovation on it. Uh, they had basically done this back wall or the side wall and the back wall. And then we had a little pony wall over here, which was a little odd because there wasn't enough cabinet space for one thing for a family of four. And it wasn't big enough to put a kitchen table in, which didn't really make sense because our dining room is literally steps away. So what we decided to do was we removed the pony wall on the opposite side of the kitchen. We took that out, we extended the floor into the family room about two feet, and then we put more cabinets in there that match the ones that are existing. At this point, that peninsula wall or that peninsula cabinet has a butcher block on it, but we will be changing that out probably in the next year so it matches the quartz that we have here. Okay, so the other thing that we did was we did a mini reno in here in our dining room. At the time I was working at a lighting store and I love brushed gold so we changed the light fixture out right off the top put it in a nice skinny uh, glass top table it does extend out and the biggest thing we did in here was put this cabinet from Ikea again um, just we needed a place to store all our extra stuff it's a little messy right now but it worked out beautifully the only thing I did was change the handles on the cabinet doors and that was about it Otherwise it's a Billy bookcase. It's a really simple fix. The thing we did even before that, when we walked into this house for the first time, we loved the layout of the house. It fit our needs to a T, but there was four different kinds of flooring on the main floor, three different kinds of flooring. There was a skinny hardwood um, that was in this area, the dining area, and in the office, which we'll show you afterwards. And then we had three different, or two different kinds of tile in the front entryway, the back entry, and in the kitchen, and then down into the living room. It got, it was very jumbled, but the nice thing was it was all level. So what we did was we had, uh, we got some vinyl plank and we just put a nice insulating layer on the bottom and then put vinyl plank completely over top and it completely transformed it. This is my office and it's really a multi-function space. I think probably in the 80s, it was like a living room or dining room. The nice thing for us was it's got a door. We use this as kind of our TV watching area. And then my desk is over towards the uh, west facing window over there. We transformed this space by using the cow print or cow hide rug down there. And then I also want to talk a lot about reusing things that you have already in your home. Natalie is great at this where she had some of these pieces in her prior home. So this coffee table as an example was in her prior home. Our full entertainment unit over there was in our prior home. And then I had some of those Ikea shelves uh, that we'll show you as well. This couch is from Article and it kind of completes the space because it has that kind of rustic camel tan look to it. And then with the art pieces that we put on the wall, just kind of gives it a little bit more rustic flair, which I like. One of the features that I actually loved about this home, which you don't find a lot in new homes anymore, very rarely in fact, is a wood burning fireplace. Super popular in this 70s and 80s vintage homes like we are in here. However, the previous owner had put this rock, uh, faux rock on the fireplace here, but it was like multicolored kind of 90s, 2000s, as well as a light maple trim 
with the mantle up here as well. So very simply, this is a great tip for you if you're looking to update the look of your fireplace is paint it. So we painted this, it took a few coats for sure. It was a little bit of a job, but it completely transformed the look of this wood burning fireplace for those cool winter nights to have that great cozy ambiance and that great smell of wood, let's be honest. So when you buy a house from the 80s or 90s and sometimes even the early 2000s, you will get honey oak. We've all seen it. It totally dates the home. And we had a honey oak staircase as I'm here with our dog, Obi. One of the solutions we looked at was completely replacing it. Budget-wise, it didn't work at the time. It's still probably in our long-term plan, but an easy solution for you is to paint it. So this is the exact same paint color we used on the fireplace that we just showed you. And Natalie painstakingly prepped it and uh, painted all the spindles, the base, the posts and everything. We think it looks good. Yeah, there's a couple of chips, but we can just touch those up and it completely has removed all the honey oak. Okay, so our most recent update that we've done is our laundry area. I still have to put a final coat of paint on. I've been a little too busy to do that recently. But what we did, this was just originally a side closet door. This is our side door that goes out to our backyard. So what we did was we took the whole framing out just to open up the space put in the lap siding, that's gonna get all painted out. Put in this lovely countertop, which is such a bonus. I can fold stuff, it makes my life way easier. And just have our, you know, our washer and dryer down below. Very simple, very easy. Okay, so one of the first things we did when we moved into this house was renovate this bathroom. It was, quite frankly, sort of depressing. It had a very weird cabinet that they had retrofitted in here. It didn't make a lot of sense, didn't have any storage. So we wanted something light and bright and we wanted that cohesiveness that we have going on down on the main floor. So we decided to use the shiplap as our feature wall in here. We've used black accents, nice big black round mirror, which I love. And then the black faucets again in the shower as well. So it just works really well. It's a functional space. And then we actually just put this countertop or this uh, vanity in not that long ago. It would have been about a year ago as we renovated our other bathroom in the ba basement, which you're gonna see in a bit. And we just decided to swap out. So we took the original, the vanity we had first put in we put it downstairs and then we bought this one and this counter just fits a lot better in here uh, okay so originally we had a, a shower tub combo in here and it was pretty dated it had a bit of issues with the silicone and that we really wanted a big walk-in shower so we ripped it all out moved the plumbing from one wall to the other and then we just did a full tile surround and then again on the floor. Um, it's just been a huge difference and the glass doors really do help. And especially with the black accents, it really pops. We're down here in the basement bathroom. Natalie votes this the biggest transformation in the house. So I'll vote along with her. This was a dark, dingy 80s or 90s bathroom. There was a neo angle shower in the corner here. The ventilation was subpar, so we upgraded the ventilation fan and also the ducting, so we got good moisture heading out of this bathroom. We also completely transformed this space because we added the tub and then the beautiful large 12 by 24 tiles. And oh, by the way, a lot of this is from Lowe's and Home Depot. If you're working on a budget, you can create a beautiful bathroom space on a budget. So thanks for going for a tour of our home and all the renovations we have done to it. If you have any questions, make sure to place a comment below or we'd love to get your feedback as well. But it is now time for us to both reveal what our favorite renovation has been to our very own home. Natalie, ladies first. I think my favorite reno, oh, it's a tough one. I love the downstairs bathroom. It was such a depressing bathroom before, like it was horrifying. So now it's light and bright and airy and crisp and clean and all of those good things. And I love that about it. But if I can interject and add one more thing. Sure. I think the laundry area was a big one for me. We now have a place to actually fold clothes out on, it's... store all our stuff. We kept losing because we didn't have a counter in there and all the kids' socks would go off the back <laughs> and it was driving me crazy because I'm only 5'3". It's really hard for me to crawl over a washing machine to retrieve socks. Yeah, and I'm 6'1", so I would be the one that would have to crawl <laughs> over, you know, unplug the iron down there when yeah. I wanted to iron a shirt. Now we got a plug installed. It's great. All right. What's your favorite? This is a tough one for me too. We've done a lot of updating to the home. A lot of blood, sweat, and hematomas were spent 
<laughs> doing oh, yeah. the renovations to our house. That's a whole other story when we did our back deck, expanded it with composite decking, but we're gonna show you that in summer when there's some green grass and leaves on the trees. Getting back to the inside of the house, I would say that that laundry room is the most functional update we've done because yeah. with even just adding the counter, adds so much functionality, whether it's folding clothes, ironing a shirt. We had our electrician add a plug there so we can actually plug it in and I didn't have to reach in behind the laundry machine to grab the cord, plug in the iron. So it's created so much functional space there. It looks super great. But I would say my favorite room in the house, and thanks to Natalie when she added the charcoal wall, which I think really makes it dark and moody, as she always talks about, Love the dark is, and moody. is the den and the office. <laughs> Combined with the kind of Western theme that I have going on in there that she really influenced as well, I really love it. It's a very cozy space and we spend a lot of time in there working, watching TV and things like that. Well, that wraps it up. Thanks for joining us on the tour of our renovated home, mostly renovated for the good, the bad and the ugly. If you have any questions or comments, we would love to see them down below in the comments section. So thanks for watching the whole video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps us in that YouTube algorithm. And if you know somebody that needs some design inspiration, make sure you share this video with them. And if you like our content, cause we got so much more on the books coming up. Please subscribe to our channel and ring that notification bell so you know when we put out our next video. And we'll see you next time. Bye.